This episode is brought to you by Fairdesk, a crypto derivatives trading platform founded by six former Binance execs and three former Morgan Stanley architects. Fairdesk is a company focused on building a platform that enables traders to profit from both rising and falling markets. Sign up today and CB will credit you up to $600 in trading funds. For more information, visit Fairdesk.com. Link in the description below. Do it live! I can do I'll write it and we'll do it live! Okay. Ready? Right. Fucking thing sucks! Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing it live. Welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis, where I just basically give you my opinion, my two Satoshis on what's going on in the crypto markets. And I actually got some non-crypto stuff to talk about today that came across my desk. I'm like, oh, wow, this is interesting to play definitely into this whole geopolitical uh, fight we're having, I think, that's setting up. We got some 4D chess going on here, ladies and gents. I'll go over what I'm talking about in a minute. But shout out to everybody in the room. We got Go Panama. He's uh, making some very interesting uh, thoughts on why we're seeing this bid up in bitcoin he said chinese inv investors are heavily buying right now they can't buy with yuan but possibly are buying with tether so very interesting point uh didn't think about that so that very much and very much well could be the issue or the reason why we're seeing that pump in today's chart but it is looking impressive for sure and i'm going to go over my two satoshis on that weekly chart looks good from my house future well says I don't look at the weekly. Um, I'm an hour trader, or at least analyze on the hour. I don't trade uh, discretionarily trade anymore. I do all my trading through algos. Weekly MACD and IRS, uh, RSI bullish divergence. He said, "Let's go." I hear that, man. May you may be right. D Fuente in the building. Shout out to him. Let me look a shot for D Fuente 420. I'm all good, man. Hope you're doing well. Tyler Joe De Block is in the building with his doggy. Nice little puppy there. Yes, smash those Georgia peach booties for me, please, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you will, make sure you hit that like button right now for the algo. We got 19 people in the building. I would greatly appreciate it. All right. Um, but let's see who else we got. Let's do continue this roll call. Mr. B in the building. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Jason Max said, what up, CB? Dixie still makes me nervous like it's about to have a run. Appreciate your Lions uh, running back and RB is killing it. <laughs> wow. Didn't even know. Stop watching the, the Lions. Hell, when the Twin Towers fell, I guess. I don't know. It's been years, bro. What's going on? Ten Pound in the building. He said, what up, nerds? nerds you guys definitely are for watching uh and keeping up with the crypto markets what's up blood hey bro koshi how are you man hope everything's doing well so let's get into it ladies and gents um first you know the routine you know what time it is bloodalytics.com is what time it you should be on get over there join the group man we're making trades uh making money and just being actively ahead of the game not just hodling hodling is for beta players for beta traders for beta investors you got to have some portion of your you don't have to but you should have some portion of your portfolio in an active manner if you have the time of course right gotta have the time um so check out bloodalytics if you do have the time to trade maybe 20 times a week roughly so check that out link in the description below let's take a look at this chart because this is what i was pretty excited about and and impressed me the most uh, about bitcoin at this point i drew this wedge I think last night, I did a live stream last night going over the weekly results for Bloodalytics, up 31% last week. 31% Bloodalytics. That's right. But in doing last night's live stream, I saw this wedge. I'm like, oh, here we go. Look at that. A pennant. Looks perfect, right? So I said if we broke out of that, I thought we were going to break to the downside. And this was last night 
I did this video maybe around here. It was like around here-ish, somewhere around here, 9 o'clock or something. So later that night when I saw us move down toward the bottom of that pen, and I'm like, oh, wee, it's about to get ugly. And the futures were down a little bit. Um, we saw what happened with the, with the British pound. We'll talk about that in a second. Dixie hadn't really rallied yet. It started to rally, but I'm like, yep, it's setting up for fundamentally a move back, you know, to the downside. Now, we saw somebody who I have no clue. Go Panama said, Go Panama said it was, the, it was the Chinese. Somebody came in and saved the bell. Saved by the bell, ladies and gents. Bitcoin was saved by the motherfucking bell. And it went ham. It went up. Okay. Now we're outside of that pennant. A few closes. This, this is on the one hour. So, you know, take it for what it is. But this is on the one hour. And we're seeing one, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars so far closed above this pennant. Now, it is this is impressive to me. I will have to say, I don't think anything has changed. I think we do go lower, but I just want to show you the resilience of Bitcoin when you have what we, you know, everyone's talking about it. Dixie, 52 week high today. 52, let's look a shot for that. 52 week high. And we just did another 52 week high last week. So we've been making new 52 week highs with the Dixie guys. So to me, you shouldn't see Bitcoin doing this. You shouldn't see Bitcoin at least not making much gains, but treading water while other assets are losing because the dollar is getting stronger. What helped the Dixie move up today was, of course, what's going on with the pound. So Bank of England fails to reassure markets after pound plunge. You know, pound is one of the currencies that is in the basket that makes up that that index for the Dixie. So if you see the, the pound drop, then that's inherently going to make the Dixie index go higher, pushing it to all time highs. Look, Brent Johnson, wrong for a long time. Okay. Brent Johnson has been wrong for a long time, but boy, is he getting his shine now because the dollar is king, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say that again. The dollar is king. I'm going to drop a bomb for that one. Funk flex bomb on that one. So he was right, guys. He was definitely right on, you know, his theory. It, it, it just didn't pan out when he wanted or thought it would. So it's all about timing, unfortunately. But, yeah, he is uh, he's right, guys. I don't know if you guys know about Brent Johnson. Go check him out. It's the milk uh, shake theory, the dollar milkshake theory. Search that on Google. Get a little bit more information on that so you can understand that thesis and how it's playing out right now for us. But to say the least, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with Bitcoin right now, ladies and gents. Stock market down almost a percent. was down lower earlier. Okay. Um, NASDAQ not down as much. So that may be saving Bitcoin because we know it's a highly correlated asset with the NASDAQ index. S&P down almost 1%. Dow is down almost 1%. So, this is uh, this is not good. Like someone said in the chat room, wisdom bars, England is in trouble. Yes, England is in trouble. Matter of fact, I remember back in the day when I traded FX full time, the Dixie, I mean the pound, British pound, was at like, two dollars and some change per dollar we're almost at parity this is insane like the dollar is in demand ladies and gentlemen the dollar is king it is king i know it doesn't make sense to you because you've been pushed this narrative that you've been fed this narrative fiat this is trash dollar going to zero that's some nonsense dollar is not going to zero i saw a guy on twitter yesterday actually and let me see if i can find that tweet because he said on twitter to me um because i made a comment let me see if i can find it really quickly while we're doing this live i made a comment about um finally something that you know me and michael saylor agree on and uh he was he was upset this guy was very upset let me find this tweet really quickly if i can 
uh don't know where is that don't know where is that come on come on come on come on come on i'm doing this live i'm doing this live come on here it is boom so i put out this tweet yesterday or the day before i said oh wow something that sailor and i finally agree on and i said that it, this was a headline bitcoin is 100 times better than gold michael sailor says how many of you feel that way how many feel that bitcoin is 100 times better than gold i surely do I can put my funds in a brain wallet right here in this noggin under this Detroit hat, under this D-boy hat. Remember the secret keys. And I can just go anywhere in the world with my money. Now, you can't do that with, with gold. If I got a million dollars worth of gold, impossible to transport that to wherever I'm going without guards, you know, gun, uh, armed gunmen. You know, and, and logistically, it just doesn't make sense. So absolutely, in this day and age, Bitcoin is 100 times better than gold, in my opinion. Brit VR in the building, he said, time to travel with cheap vacation. That's very true. Something much bigger is looming. Siba says, the code says, yes, <laughs> Bitcoin is way better than gold. But I don't know, man, gold is fire. Gold is cool. It has this, you know, use case. But ironically enough, people fail to realize that gold is not like if we have high inflation, gold is not going to go up. It's the misconception. Gold is not going to go up in a high inflation environment because high inflation, that means that you have, you know, riskier assets that will go up. So risk on assets. Gold is not a risk on asset. So if we have inflation like we're seeing now, this is why you're not seeing gold do anything. Matter of fact, go lower. Because is is not is not the thing you go to when there is high inflation. In a deflationary environment, you would go to gold, but it's a situation and scenario where you're just going to gold so you don't lose as much as some of the other asset classes like stocks and real estate and so on and so forth. So people have a huge misconception, in my opinion, about gold. And uh anyway, this guy, I said this right, this guy where's the reply let me find this guy's reply i mean he was pissed mr m e purdy said what part don't you understand this is a way to scrap this is a way to scrap away your money from you get used get you used to the one world currency lures you in then yanks it away you're dumb now i mean first maybe he was too angry and couldn't get it out properly or either i'm dyslexic and can't read I, I don't know. You, you guys read it for yourself. But anyway, my response to him was, nah. So he was basically saying that, you know, there will be a one world currency. OK, and Bitcoin. I don't know if he's saying that Bitcoin is a one world currency that's going to lure you in and yank it away like the people in power are going to yank it away and kill us all financially. I don't know. All I know is said, nah, you will always need other currencies to price another currency against. I said, I think you don't realize we've already had a quote unquote one world currency and it's called the U.S. dollar. That's as close as you will get to that, buddy. Hey, and that's the truth. Think about it. People have been saying one world currency coming, uh, Bilderberg, Illuminati, uh, Trilateral Commission, all that Alex Jones stuff. Nah. We've we've had the one world currency. It's been the dollar, ladies and gents. Everywhere in the world uses the dollar. Like, why don't we think? Why don't we think this? I don't understand, guys. Why don't we realize this? One world currency has already been in play. Maybe if you want to say since 71, 72. We've been dominating it. Everyone wants dollars. Everyone wants to borrow money in dollars. Everyone has debt denominated in dollars. So this is why you're seeing all these other countries getting slaughtered, man. Let me see these uh, comments real quick before we move on. I've been yapping my mouth here. Big BTC for sure. Treasure wallet is much less work than hiding your gold stack in your drywall. Exactly, Tyler. Deflationary is where gold shines. Yeah, a little bit. Yes, it does. It shines more than anything else. I agree. Because in a deflationary environment, Bitcoin will go down, ladies and gents. Don't get it twisted. Bitcoin is a highly risk on asset. 
a highly speculative asset. So if deflationary hits in and comes to town, ladies and gents, get the hell out the way. Get out of Dodge because your Bitcoin is going to be worth very little. Gold will hold up. Gold will lose the least amount. Minho, my mind, my guy from across the pond said emergency meeting in the UK this week. Yeah, it's getting real. The U.S. Constitution states money shall only be gold and silver. U.S. Constitution uh, has been uh, ditched a long time ago, my friend. I hope you're not drinking that Kool-Aid. It's, we ain't following no Constitution uh, at this joint. Uh, Ken, Kenes says gold is part of a diversifying per- portfolio. Got to keep, got to stay loose keep some change in your pocket as well gotta keep that dollar man gotta keep some cash some wham you gotta keep that wham some walk around money you gotta keep that wham in your pocket that is very true Kinez. aaron said what going on with the miners um help me out let me know what you're talking about so let's go ahead and move forward with the the show guys i know i've been rambling but i just wanted to get that off my chest bitcoin is looking very impressive right now and maybe I'll, you know, when we get through this, I'll explain, but for how long? I don't think for too long, guys. It's just fundamentally there are too many headwinds, too many to to deal with. It just, I, I just can't see it happening. Get over to Fairdesk.com. That's where the Bloodalytics gang is trading. That's where I'm trading uh, my Bloodalytics uh, system and signal as well. But they, if you're looking for um, an exchange, to buy cryptos you can buy and uh literally make money trading they pay you back rebates for trading over there they're you know trying to get more volume so get over there if you guys are looking for an exchange i love this exchange i'm gonna be honest with you i have a couple bit yard is one fair desk is another been with bit yard for many years but i will say i like the way fair desk is a slightly better exchange i'm not gonna lie both available for u.s citizens so you don't have to worry about vpns and circumventing that and getting in trouble if you forget and all that good stuff so get over there to fair desk for sure jason max says smash those likes yes please hit those likes ladies and gentlemen smash those booties off the stage for a brother so as i stated um you know dixie strong 52 week high going ham right now look at that look at that move this is a one-year chart. Look at this parabolic move. And we've printed more money than we ever have. So that's what I'm trying to help you guys understand. You gotta you gotta delve a little deeper than what the narrative is from the the alternate news, alternate finance, especially those who are very um pro gold. They have a narrative they stick to. Those that are pro Bitcoin, pro crypto, they have a narrative they stick to good to listen to both of those sides but get all the sides you got to get all the sides you the thesis that the, you know dollars going to trash going to zero i'm sorry guys it's not panning out it's not holding up we printed more money than we have in the history of our country in what the last two years and you see this chart right here this is what's going on dixie going ham dixie going ham right now ladies and gents all right so that's where we are with that um i wanted to just go over this because i saw this i noticed this earlier today so market cap is at 974 roughly still below that one trillion mark for crypto currencies okay but i just want you to take a look at this top 10 list what do you see anything that sticks out here well i do the thing that sticks out here is that this top 10 list includes one, two, three of the top 10 are stable coins. What did I tell you guys years ago? I told you this top 10 list is going to very soon look like number one, number two, and maybe even number three are going to be stable coins. Definitely number one and number two, I think, will be stable coins. Number one. And I'm talking about by market cap. We're going to have in the, in the very near future, you will see the market cap list look like USDC, maybe USDT, but possibly Bitcoin, then Ethereum. 
And actually, I'm going to flip that around. I think it's going to be USDC, uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin. That's what we're going to see in the very near future. Crypto Dom has told you right here live on CBTV. So uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys that one. But yo, check this out. This is not crypto related. I had to cover this though what is what kind of 4d chess is going on here with russia what are they doing here what do you guys think china or russia i should say and maybe china involved in you know back channeling this and approving this and and working with russia with this as well but i'm primarily just talking about russia because that china thing could be a stretch russia what are they doing here ladies and gents why have they granted edward snowden citizenship Help me out in the comments below. I want to know what you guys think this move means and what they're positioning to do here. This came across the desk about 30 minutes ago, and I said I had to just touch on it and get your feedback because this is uh, this is something. You know, things are heating up, man, and not in a good way. I don't like seeing this type of stuff. When you have a guy who exposes some things, I won't say what, um, just for the sake of not getting, you know, uh, strike against me but he's in my opinion done some things that could be to some people a noble thing in the United States expose some various things right and we have this guy now being granted citizenship with Russia I don't know man I, I just I just don't know what's going on there Wisdom Bar said, beef up their cybersecurity. <laughs> nah, they're already, man, Russia is top G. Like Andrew Tate said, Russia's top G with that cybersecurity stuff, man. Gave Snow a job. Nah, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's possible. Definitely possible. Jason Mack said, Putin looking into getting all his cyber warfare chips in play in case of further escalation i don't know if you know if, if edward snowden is that top of a guy for that industry you know he's very smart but uh they they got some guys over there already that's getting it in free speech and you have self-censoring censoring yourself yeah man it's crazy bro it's crazy that that I, we're at that state it's crazy you know i'm gonna have to start posting on rumble Boy, when I get over on Rumble, it's going to be, I ain't going to have no sponsors the way I'm going to be, man. Y'all going to think I'm the new Malcolm Crypto X. Let me tell you. Because Russia is currently more free than the U.S. Damn. Shame I couldn't buy the Russian ruble because I'm in the U.K. and sanctions stopped me. Dang, that's messed up, bro. Simon in the UK. Shout out to Simon. Shout out to Minho. Shout out to Mr. Sakila. Shout out to I got so many UK followers or bruvs. How y'all say it over there. I love it, man. Keep spreading the word over there in the UK about crypto blood because I'm gonna come do a world tour and touch down and cash out. I'm gonna be on your billionaires row cashing out with these big ass fiat US dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Look a shot for that. Um, what does he know that you don't? Hmm, I don't know, man. Red River said could be a distraction from Russia's from Russians, but I don't know if they are using it like that. Right, it could be for sure. Could be. Definitely could be. So just want to throw that across the desk for you guys as well. Um crazy times man there's some 4d chess going on i don't think it's as straight and simple as red river is saying it's just a distraction move it's got to be something more behind it let me know if you guys have any theories in the comments below in the chat room right now um wisdom bar said maybe they're granting it to him to accidentally spill some info hmm let us know when you're on rumble for sure bro will do will do get that set up in the, in the next week or so um, I'm I am on Odyssey. I post on Odyssey every day. <sighs> Excuse me. So I'm on Odyssey, aka used to be Library. Check me out on Odyssey. I do post there, but those are just rebroadcastings of all of my shows on YouTube, just as a backup. But uh, yeah, I'll let you know when I'm Rumble in the Jungle. You heard? Let's get over here to it. This this is hilarious. 
This is absolutely hilarious. So your boy, Doquan, Interpol issues red notice for crypto founder Doquan. Remember, you know, the guy that said, hey, guys, I'm not uh, I'm chilling. I'm not on the run, quote unquote, on the run or anything similar. He said this was on September 17th for any government agency that has shown interest to communicate. We are in full cooperation. And we don't have anything to hide, he says. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Because uh, clearly, you ain't been communicating with them, homie, because they put out a red alert a red alert on you, buddy. Interpol issued a red notice recently asking law enforcement agencies around the world to locate and hold Quan. Quan tweeted three days after the South Korean warrant that he was, quote unquote, not on the run or anything similar. And that he has in full cooperation and we don't, he said, have anything to hide. But he hasn't tweeted publicly in more than a week, ladies and gentlemen. Where you at, boy? Where you at, Duquan? Where you at? You ain't tweeted in over a week, bro. Last tweet was September 17th. Almost 10 days now, homie. Where are you since you... You know, you're not on the run. Tell us where you are then. Because uh, you got us looking like this. Uh, we're trying to figure out where the hell you are. We're thoroughly confused. Do you guys think Doquan is on the run right now? It's not just him. It's five other top execs from Luna Labs that uh, is also um, they're, they're looking for. So six people on the run. Allegedly, I don't know, but I mean, if they put the red notice out, they wouldn't put it out if they communicated with them. So it's a little weird to me. <clears throat> red River said, I upload the rumble. It sucks. Oh, man. Top G is over there. And Andrew Tate is over there. Maybe they're getting him to get you guys to improve it. Got to head out. Check it later. Thanks, Red River. Thanks for tuning in. Snowden is a hero. Just say it. Can't say it, brother. You said it for me. <laughs> uh, Minho said he's in India in fake death coming. Oh, Gerald Cotton. You're right. Possibly. 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 So, yeah, your boy Doquan hasn't tweeted in over nine days. Be seven days tonight. Something's got to be up. Something's got to be up. Next one. This is just absolute ridiculousness here. Apple will allow NFT sales in apps, but, 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 a big old, but, 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 will apply a 30% commission. Boy, those guys don't play no games over there. 30%. Like, the audacity. The audacity. When you have the biggest marketplace open c charging what two percent so you're going to charge 10 percent 10x more 10x and some change 10 and a half x more than what <laughs> open c the biggest nft platform y'all help me out please i just don't understand how this is even happening 30 freaking percent either either they are out of touch with our industry right or they're just they just suffer from hubris they're they're just totally delusional um i think it's the latter they got to know what's going on in the markets right they have some very very smart people over there they gotta know so my my take is that they're just pompous they're just arrogant they just think they can just squeeze and when and this is not going to work ladies and gents in in the transition from web 2.0 which apple definitely and wholeheartedly locked down and, and and dominated along with google right and facebook that's web 2 though that's web 2.5 2. Uh, 3.0 that ain't man you, you ain't gonna fly with these type of tactics apple y'all gotta pivot you gotta you got to catch up, Mustard. You got to catch up. 
Um, Voice Crypto said, why he in trouble? I thought code is law. <laughs> right, right, right. Very good point, Voice Crypto. 30% gang, gang. 15x. They seen the ETH gas fees and watch people pay it. Hey, you might be right there, Tyler. You might be right. But I don't know. 30% is a, is a quite a bit much more than the competitors. You, you know, when you do in business, right, you do it like a... Uh, market analysis, a swap, you know, you do all that, right? And you see what your competitors are doing, what you you know, and then you come to, they didn't do none of that, clearly. They literally just was like Ray Charles. They were just like, they felt the, the risk and was like, oh, yeah, that's 30%. <laughs> anyway, thought that was hilarious. Here's another one. New Kraken CEO says, this is some gang gang stuff for real right here. I got to lick a shot for that one. That's some hardcore stuff right here. Kraken CEO, new one said, uh-uh, we not registering with the SEC. What? How does that work? Like this article didn't explain what happens if you don't register with the SEC, but they flat out came out and said, look, we're not registering with the SEC. Ripple, uh, Ripley says that Kraken has no plans to remove those tokens and won't register with the SEC despite Chairman Gary Gensler's call for crypto exchanges to do so. How does that? Where do they do that at? How do, how do you do that? So are you not going to uh, deal with U.S. citizens? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know. But anyhow, Kraken said they ain't with it. They're not registering with the SEC so you can forget about it. Next one, uh-oh, U.S. court authorizes IRS to issue summons for crypto investors' records. Uh-oh, we got a little issue here, guys. <laughs> Whoa, IRS Internal <laughs> Revenue Service has obtained a court order authorizing summons for records relating to U.S. taxpayers who fail to report and pay taxes on cryptocurrency transactions. The IRS commissioner commented the governor's, government's ability to obtain third-party information on those failing to report their gains from digital assets remains a critical tool in catching tax cheats. Yikes. Hope y'all are doing the proper thing to uh, stay above board there. IRS seeks crypto investors' records from banks. So they're looking for records from banks. Um, don't know why would you go to a bank, but okay. Um, so just giving you guys a heads up, man. Starting to heat up. I told you guys, a little birdie told me or told someone else and told me that they ain't playing in 2023. Q1 out the gate. They are swinging and they are Barry Bond, they're hitting it out the park, ladies and gentlemen. They are coming for you and your cryptos and, and regulating it and clamping down on, you know, various. Yeah, there is some fraud. Absolutely, there's some fraud going on. So that needs to be mitigated. But they're going to, of course, in my opinion, overreach as they always do. You know, they never stop. There, there's never a point where they say, okay, enough overseeing of a particular industry, enough you know regulation enough is never enough never enough like uh your boy uh what's that r&b singer i can't think of his name right now but the song goes never too much never too much never too much yeah it's never too much they're gonna go for it all ladies and gents they're gonna go for it all so this one was pretty interesting. Ethereum Classic hash rate slides 46%. Now, remember I told you that Ethereum Classic right before the fork actually was kicked off with a tweet from Vitalik Buterin saying, hey, hey if you, you guys ain't down with the Ethereum proof of stake move, then you should go. This is what he said. You should go mine on Ethereum Classic. And at that point, at that tweet, you saw a, a move over. First, the price went up and you saw a move over in hash power over to ethereum classic and then when the actual fork happened you saw right before the fork you saw a huge spike in ethereum classic mining the hash power yes luther vangelis why i could not remember that guy's name that's a damn shame i ain't black no more ladies and gents even tyler know that one 
That only make no sense. Uh, <laughs> Ethereum Classic hash rate slides 46% since the merge. Powell ETH forks gather double digit gain. So what's going on here, guys? Do you think that uh, they're just done mining over there on Ethereum Classic? Or do you think they went to other coins that may have been more profitable as you see, uh, as you saw the increase in hash power uh, hit the network? The profitability comes down. So maybe they just jumped ship to another coin and we'll be back. Who knows? But we did see uh, Ethereum W finally bottom out. It lost a whole bunch of value over the last uh, month. So, hey, I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're just jumping back and forth. That's typically what those minor DGNs do. Trying to eke out all the yield they can from those machines. Speaking of miners, yo i let me show you guys this i found one of my old miners look at that boy right there yeah this is from 2014 15 era when cb was mining getting it in then this was um forgot the name it was a grid seed right um i'm like dang man i forgot about this so i had like maybe 10 of these back then i was man i was the trap boy i was trapping it out the bando before they even knew about it ladies and gents and so look i went online just out of curiosity because i've searched my my email account for grid seed and found who i bought this from and i found that i bought this from zoom hash this company back in the day zoom hash so all the different asic miners i was buying zoom uh, uh, buying these miners here raspberry pi setting up my own rigs and if you guys probably can't see behind me but my cost statue is actually sitting on a miner let me see if i can get that out the way at the bottom here let's see if i can just hide that bring this down a little bit for you guys nope can't do it oh, no no doesn't work but yeah i got a red miner got two two of them bad boys in the background and uh just took me down memory lane and so then i went to searching like are people still using these joints and they are i could sell this grid seed blade script litecoin dogecoin ltc miner right now and this is the one i have 5.2 for like five hundred dollars, four hundred and forty-nine dollars. These are used rigs, ladies and gents. I didn't know. I did not know. So, holla at me if you want to buy mine. I'll sell them for less than what they're selling on there. I'm just. I guess I maybe I should keep them. This is like some historic stuff, right? Next time I'll show you my big red boy. I was I was making it work, man. I was doing what it do making it do what it do just thought i would bring that up here's a more grid seed miners this is the one i have right here something like that it's crazy man go that go back down memory lane that's for sure um the next article i want to touch on really quickly guys is about this right here which is is a, another thing, another reason why I keep thinking that in the short run, you may see a run up in Bitcoin, but I'm not giving you financial advice, but I'm just letting you know, I would be aggressively exiting a lot of the crypto positions because I think it's about to get ugly. I think the dollars are going to continue to rise and Bitcoin is not going to be able to fight off that move up in the dixie that strengthening of the u.s dollar king dollar is back ladies and gents so i think with that in combination with the recession that's occurring with what the federal reserve is doing they're always looking in the rear view mirror they're driving in the rear view mirror how you drive forward and you're looking backwards that's what the federal reserve does so they're always going to act too late and react too fast so I think that uh, 
And, and, and you know, this guy, Warden Professor Jeremy Siegel says, this, you know, he feels like Jerome Powell is making one of the biggest policy mistakes in the Fed's 110 year history. So he says, according to him, inflation is starting to come down significantly and the Fed is still moving forward with its rate hikes. So they always are late, guys. They are always late. Siegel pointed out that oil prices have fallen back to levels not seen since the start of 2022 prior to Russia's invasion of Ukraine and home prices and home builder activities are starting to fall. He said, why is he putting, he meaning Jerome Powell, putting the burden on these workers, on the employed people when every other commodity price is going down? He's referring to the fact that, you know, yes, uh, wages are still rising, but those are lagging indicators. He says, I think the Fed is just way too tight. They're making exactly the same mistake on the other side that they did, that they made a year ago. And I agree with him. Siegel expects the overly tightened actions from the Fed will continue to weigh on stock prices, i.e. as well, ergo, crypto prices. So this is why I think I'm impressed with the move up in Bitcoin. It's broken out of that pennant. Yes, technically it looks very good it really does that's a good move right there might take us back up into this channel okay but i am not convinced that you know uh this is going to last ladies and gents so what they say fade the rally i think fading the rally is uh could be a good move meaning buy sell into the rally you know, selling to the rally. Now, my feelings are my feelings. Thank God I have blood analytics because uh, we're getting it in. We're long Bitcoin right now. We're long Bitcoin. Been long since yesterday. It's been trading trading sideways. We're long Ethereum. Took half our profits already. So, aside from my feelings, we're going to trade and make money regardless. So, it is what it is, ladies and gents. It is what it is. But that's pretty much it for today, ladies and gents. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see what some of these comments are saying here. Jeremy Siegel was going off on CNBC, was he? I like him, man. I remember him from back in the 08 days, uh, 08 crisis days. He was on CNBC and uh, some of those other channels really going in on, on those cats. So, yeah, I like Jeremy Siegel. Keep it. It might bone collector's price piece one day. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, if the Fed stop raising rates, Bitcoin may go up. Yeah, but they're not. Anytime soon, homie. In my opinion, no time soon. If not BC, then what? King dollar, baby. He got to go into that dollar. I know it sounds... I'm going to give it to you real, though. I know it sounds... Uh, you know, we're, we're supposed to keep this narrative as crypto influencers and... and nah, 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 nah. No. No. You, you want to make the right move? Go into the dollars going to dollars for now because i think what's about to happen is a deflationary event coming soon because the fed as jeremy siegel talked about the fed is going to be late reducing rates so they're going to they're, they're always going to play catch up we're going to be in a deflationary environment and they're still raising rates which only intensifies it ah man oh man so that's where I am with things, ladies and gents. Please do me a favor before getting out of here. Smash that like booty for a brother right now. All right. I would greatly appreciate it. The algos would appreciate it for CBTV. And that is your duty to smack that booty. But that is it. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. I got a special promo for Bloodalytics coming up at the end of this video which is about it right now, so stay tuned. Minho, love you, bro. Thanks for tuning in, all my UK bruvs. Thanks for tuning in, all my US homies. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody around the globe, thanks for tuning in. It's your boy, Crypto Blood, and that's my two Satoshis. I'm out of here. Holla.
Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Okay. Ready? Right. Fucking thing sucks. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. <laughs>